Hello, this is BTP Liam here with our um, assistant Dane Merlin Evans. Um, where basically you've got this big food free, excellent book, tells you all about what plants you can eat in England and you can find most plants in the book, which is um, essential and um, some books, you know, you never really come across the plants they show you, but that one covers all these sort of weeds and that you find out there that you might otherwise pass unnoticed. So um, nettles are one you can eat. You can see this in our nettle tea video. We also ate some fennel previously. See a bit of a remnant of it down there. So um, here we've got an, um, the fennel that we used um, in the teapot. All you do, put that in the oven on a baking tray or Pyrex dish for a cup, about five minutes just to crisp it up. And all we do, put it in the teapot pour the water in, pour it out and you get tea and you can make tea from any plant. Um, we've got a bag full of the stuff in the fridge here. There are fennel, it grows along the seawall banks on the island and many other places. There it is, got this characteristic leaf. If you sprinkle it up in your hand and smell it, it smells like aniseed or licorice. Um, we've got another one, um, we made the tea out of that fennel but you can chop the stem up and boil it. We've got on this here, um, shepherd's purse which grows sort of on the sides of pathways, footpaths in the sort of gritty areas. Um, doesn't grow in the nicest places, make sure you wash it though and that would be fine to eat. Um, tastes like the sort of fake Chinese seaweed you find um, from your Chinese shop. Um, so it's got a nice flavour, although be sure to sort of sprinkle all these heart-shaped seeds off the twigs before frying them, or the twigs will spike you in the mouth a bit, and they do make it a bit unpleasant to eat. Although flavour-wise, they are surprisingly good. We've got this here, the bladder rack, which is a very common seaweed. This is the one that lines all of the beaches from Canvey to South End on sea. Um, that's that common seaweed, you can actually eat that. Um, very nice indeed. Um, we've also got um, the best plant, we believe, the marsh samphire. Um, this grows out on all the marshes over there, over the sea wall of Canvey. And um, it really is delicious, it's the best plant we've had. Um, boil it up with a bit of butter and olive oil, that is gorgeous. Um, it really does slide off the stem. Um, it's like a sort of really jelly, water, water filled plant, really juicy, succulent. Gorgeous that, better than any vegetable I bought from the shop. Um, there's loads of that out on the marsh, you can't miss it. Um, that sort of grows along the edges of the sort of outcrops on the marshland. Um, you find these marshlands sort of in Stanford, the Hope area as well as Canvey. Um, any side of the Thames estuary. Um, so those marsh samphires are delicious. Um, another one that's nice is sea purslane, which is... Um, we'll pull, we'll pull it out now. Oh, we're going to pour that out. Purslane is very common, grows in the same place as the samphire. Um, this is the sort of pale, it, before it's cooked, it starts off a sort of pale, dusty green. And um, it grows right, it covers the outcrops of the marsh whilst the marsh samphires line it. Um, you really can't miss it out there. Um, it's probably, it is, you know, it really covers the marsh. It's the one plant you see when you view the marsh from a distance. So um, you can eat that, that's really nice. Got some black pepper in there, boiled it up. And stir fry that as well. We're actually frying up our bladder rats, <laughs> which looks pretty I think we good. Have been a, a, bit, a bit more thorough yeah. about removing all those bladders because some yeah. of them seem to have. Uh... Be careful, yeah. The bladders, <laughs> the like air bubbles and that will sort of burst when you're cooking it, and they may sort of like <laughs> give you out. some hot oil in the face if you're not careful. <laughs> but, um, be careful of the seaweed because they do really explode um, they've just sent plant material flying um, hopefully we'll see one explode in a minute I think most of them are already gone now though. it's like popcorn yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like popcorn without the pan 
you can just see them popping slightly there. Um, it sent this stuff up in the air really high a minute ago. <laughs> oh. It is like popcorn. Whoa. Right, well, we'll see you later once we've okay, so tried them. Oh, it's shrunk down so much though, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, yeah, it has shrunk a bit, but we've got this lovely seaweed, and we've got a bit of salt and sugar on it, like they do in the Chinese restaurants, just that we've used real seaweed here. It tastes lovely. That's fried up with a bit of wok oil, but any stir fry oil will, will do. Mmm, that is good. Oh, just press that silver button just to focus that in on that. Show you the glistening. Oh no, keep going. So here we have some boiled up sea purslane. Find this out on all the Canvey marshes and Stanford La Hope marshes. Um, it's the plant that covers the um, marshland. Now, hmm, tastes good. Don't boil. I'd say don't boil it for too long. I think it's become a bit more spinachy here. Well, that's soft, but it's a bit nicer when it's more wholesome. Doesn't quite have the same taste. No, but. It's like spinach, but um, a bit softer and a bit nicer, t a bit of a nicer texture in spinach. But, um, you can eat this raw, really nice raw, um, salty, olivey taste. Um, if you're going to boil it, I wouldn't really boil it. I'd more just simmer it on the pan for about five minutes until it starts to turn sort of dark green, um, and then it's probably good to um, eat it. Um, boiling it, it's more of a spinach, a good sort of vegetable you can eat in large quantities with your dinner, although perhaps not as good for flavoursome snacks. Right, next we're going to be doing some omelette with this. We've got on some um, that bladder rack back in the saucepan this time we're boiling it, might have that with a bit of soy sauce. Apparently it's a... Uh... A nice green vegetable if you buy it according to the book, but we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> we'll have it like a proper like spongy, nice, um, rather than crispy. Here we've got an omelette made with the purslane, um, or it could be scrambled eggs. Oh, it is scrambled eggs. <laughs> <laughs> it is scrambled eggs. <laughs> and it's got some capers, some butter, salt and pepper in with the eggs, and might have some cheese in there too. Look at that. There is purslane scrambled egg. Yeah, let's just tuck in, eh? So we've boiled that purslane up and then we've chucked it into some scrambled eggs. How is it? That is a very nice meal. Good. Mmm. A person gives it a nice taste, doesn't it? So, what's next? Bit of boiled seaweed. Uh, <laughs> well, not boiled, but. Like this, simmered, that's bad. And after that, we've got Marsh Amphire, the best of the best. So we've got some lovely boiled seaweed here. Gonna dash some soy sauce into that. Yeah, the stuff? No. 
There we are. Get a few drips in there. And let's taste it. Dished up on a plate. Right, so let's, let's tuck in. It's got some soy sauce on it. Apart from that, it's that's it. This <laughs> is like eating seaweed. <laughs> That's definitely not recommended one. Well, I thought it could be right. I'll, I'll report back once I've had a good eat. <laughs> so here we are. We've got on the um, seaweed. So I just ate the boiled seaweed. Um, it's actually alright. Um, didn't have much flavour. Um, although the texture is quite nice. You could bite into it. It was just like really buying a sort of Chinese um, or Japanese like sushi seaweed, like kombu or something, and just eating that um, after boiling it, really. Uh, it wasn't much different, although um, a bit of an off put was the bladder, like the um, sort of round bubble sections in the seaweed, which are sort of filled with a sort of goo. So um, I wouldn't eat those, <laughs> but um, the actual like middle of the seaweed was quite nice. Um, although um, I think the best you can really get is here that is the Marth Samphire it grows sort of upright like that coming out of the marshland just in, in cl clumps like that in sort of like patchy grass um, I'm only just picking and preparing it because we've got muddy roots on it we're going to um, boil that up but it's delicious cold as well that's going to be a fine snack indeed. Um, this isn't really leafy. This is much more. It's sort of like a um, a very water-based, fleshy plant. Um, I'd recommend that any day. So we've got the wild, um, the marsh samphire, and um, it's like these lovely green rooty looking things. And um, well, look, um, they're really nice. What are your impressions? Mm. Actually, very tasty. And Much you sort more of so bite the end and strip the bone off them, which is like this sort of. Like, it's not a bone, but it's cut, it reminds me of sort of like the spinal column of like a fish or something like that. Mm. Like, you sort of bite it and just pull the meat away from it. We've got some melted butter on it as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think that is an essential, isn't it? Nothing. But it's good to, we've boiled these up quite a long while, a uh, proper vigorous boil. <laughs> Definitely the best food for free that we've had so far. Mm. Oh, delicious. And it's quite salty. And seaweed's the mm. worst. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, subscribe and share. We'll see you later.